Hello again, and welcome to another installment of our online children's moment. It's so good to have you with me. I can't believe we're already at the end of June. I hope you all had a wonderful school year, and I can't wait to see you all as we are getting ready to return to church in September. So you'll have the summer to enjoy, and then once school starts back up again, hopefully I get to see many of you back at church. But until then, let's keep doing these online children's moments as a way for me to continue to chat with you and share some of these stories from scripture. Today's story comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verses 21 to 43. And it's a story about Jesus healing someone. And you might have heard this one before. At this time, Jesus and the disciples were on a boat on the sea. And they said, Jesus said, let's go back to the other side of the sea to a city called Capernaum. No wind or storm on this trip like we heard a week or two ago. And when they got there, a large crowd, as per usual, surrounded Jesus as he got out of the boat. They must have like known he was coming or been walking around the sea coast, trailing the boat, because at this time, people were constantly following Jesus. There was a man named Jairus, and he was the leader of the synagogue. He stepped out from the crowd and came toward Jesus. When he reached Jesus, he fell to his knees and said, Please come to my house. My 12-year-old daughter is dying. Only you can save her. Jesus walked with Jairus. The people followed and crowded in around Jesus, making it difficult for Jesus to walk. At the edge of the crowd, there was a woman who had been born, who had been sick for 12 years. She thought to herself, if only I could touch Jesus's robes, then I will be healed. She'd already spent all her money going to a bunch of different doctors, trying to figure out what was wrong, and they hadn't been able to help her. But she had faith, and Jesus was her last hope. She pushed and made her way through the crowd until she could just simply reach out and touch the back of Jesus' robe. When she did, she felt the power of Christ across her body and knew instantly that Jesus had healed her. I knew it, she said to herself. At that same moment, Jesus stopped and said, who touched me? A disciple said, we're walking through a busy crowd. All kinds of people are touching you. What do you mean, who touched me? Jesus looked at the crowd and searched every person's face. And now this woman was shaking because she was afraid that Jesus was angry. She fell down before Jesus and said, it was me. I've been sick for 12 years. I paid all my money to doctors and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. But I knew that you could heal me, even if I only touched the edge of your robe. Jesus smiled at her kindly and said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. The woman went home and Jesus continued to the house of Jairus. They hadn't gone very far when some of Jairus' servants ran to him and said, she has died. There's no reason for Jesus to come in. Jesus heard them and said, nonsense, just keep trusting. And he called a few of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, to go with him. When they got in the house, people were crying and shouting. Jesus said, why is there all this noise? The girl is just asleep. The people there, though, laughed at him. So Jesus sent them all out. Then Jesus told the girl's parents and the three disciples to come with him to where the girl was laying. Jesus took her hand and simply said, get up. Right away, the girl sat up. And Jesus helped her stand. The girl's parents and the eyes of the disciples were amazed. Jesus said, don't tell anyone what you saw. Now get this girl some food. I wonder if the girl's parents, who must have been so excited that she was alive, could keep from telling others about what Jesus had done. 
It's a pretty amazing story where we see two people, one who has been suffering, right? She had been suffering from the same ailment for 12 years, simply touches Jesus's robes and she's healed. And another, a young girl who's passed away and Jesus simply commands to get up and she's alive again. Two amazing stories that illustrate to us the power that Jesus has and God has to heal. It's a power that we don't see is used all the time, but we still pray that God works with those who do heal. It's one where I'm very thankful this week. I had a cousin who had a very serious surgery and our prayer was simple. We prayed that God would steady the hands of the surgeon, give them right and true knowledge so that to the best of their ability, they could help heal him. And I believe God was working alongside the surgeons and the doctors as they successfully performed this surgery on my cousin. And he's now in recovery. So sometimes healings look different than they do in the Bible, but they're no less more powerful because we know God still walks alongside us. And in those moments where we see or hear these miraculous things happen and just recognize that we have a good God who is a healer, we celebrate with joy. So it was with joy that I read these uh, scripture passages in light of my own family's experience this week. And I hope we all can share that same joy and excitement knowing that we serve a God who's a healer. So I thought a good song for us to sing today would be I've Got the Joy. And it's a song where we can move around a bit. So I sh hope we show God some of that joy as we dance and sing I've Got the Joy this morning. Would you sing with me? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy. So very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Yes, I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Thank you for joining me for another installment of our online children's message. Before we close, let me pray for us. God of healing, thank you for the many ways of healing we have today. Thank you for all the people who heal others in their work and who continue to find new ways of healing as they use their brains to all their capacities. So God, continue to walk alongside us in these miraculous times. And it's in your son's name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.